Welcome in this new video, I'm Nolwenn Petitbois and today I will be sharing another pouring technique. Uh, I'm all for experimenting, so bear with me, if it's a catastrophe, I'm sorry in advance. So you can see that I will go kind of monochromatic today, in the blues and greenish chills colors. I have already prepared two of my three colors to spare you the mixing. This one is cool water and I love how it is pale but not too pale. I went with one of my favorite which is Mystic. And it's um, a greenish teal but with a blue um, mica. And the next one I will mix with you so you can see my uh, technique. Uh, and I chose Go Navy, which is the darkest blue that I have. The powder looks almost black, but it's not. So what I did is I took a 2 O's small cup and I filled it about halfway with the uh, clear enamel. It's perfect. And I have a little, you know, cooking spoon and I'm using the one that is an eighth of a teaspoon. And I add that to my clear enamel. And with a popsicle stick, I start stirring. And to me, it's such a magical process to see the powder become paint. And look how gorgeous that is. And you need to scrape the side and go in the bottom so all the powder is mixed and is dissolving in the clear enamel. And then I add little by little a few drops of water. Don't add all your water at once. That's the biggest mistake you could do is to put a lot of water at once. You need to add a little so it's absorbed by the paint. And it's easier, it's easier to add water than to take it back. Trust me, I've been there. So the same, the sides, the bottom, and you add little by little. Take your time and check. You can see it's not going off my popsicle stick. It means it's way too thick. Can't wait to see how these three colors that are three blues but very different shades of blue will play together. And today I'm choosing a white base to go with it and see how that goes. My canvas is um, a stretched canvas and it's, I think, 8 by 10 inches. So about 20 by 25 centimeters. Getting there. The key is to avoid lumps. I 
and the more you do it the more you will actually feel the consistency of the paint but testing with how it falls off your popsicle stick is still the best way to do it for me see it's still almost there to me. Time to put my gloves on. I have prepared white paint. I'm using the Artist Loft brand from Michaels. And I added just a dollop of pouring medium to be sure that the pigments will stay nice when adding water. And it's good to me. And today I want to try. Usually you put the silicone in the colors and not in your base acrylic paint. And this time I want to do reverse. So I will add one spread in my white, mix it well, and see how that goes. Covering my canvas with the white. And you know what? Of course, I had some powder, so I have already some blue. So I'll be careful. Covering everything and the side too. using a, an old cup and I will try to do a dirty pour so if you're not familiar with a dirty pour is when you add your prepared colors layering them in one cup and then apply that on your canvas so you need to be careful the color that you put first will be the last one to come out so this is something you need to think of always check your consistency before just in case so I will put mystic first Then cool water, then go 
Oh, maybe. Oh. Then cool water again. Then I may not choose all my color because it's a small canvas. I love how these colors are together. I don't want the blues everywhere. I really like these colors. And what happens? 